In today's tutorial, I'll show you a new improved buy from bypass for the website version of Roblox so you can exploit and execute scripts on the website version of Roblox. This script executor for the website version of Roblox isn't really that powerful, but it still is something that we can use until we have something more powerful. So this executor actually has a script hub built inside it. So yeah, let's head right into the it. The only thing that you're gonna need is gonna be this file right here. The link will be in the description for this. It's really easy to download so it. The first thing that you need to do is gonna be to right click on it and extract here just like that and then you will get this and this right here so i'm gonna show you two methods the first method is the one that works for almost every single game and then the second method makes it work for blade ball as well so the first method you just open this right here so the folder and then if you scroll down you will see right here netflix x86 or the Netflix process handler uh, this one makes it so it crashes less so I recommend you open this one right here so if you can see it just opened so the second thing that you need to do is gonna be going to the readme right here and then right here game link you just need to copy this the link will be also in the description for this and then open it it's gonna go to base plate so before you do anything you first have to have the read engine opened just like this and then go inside this base plate right here. So I'm just going to start it, open game client. So if you can see, we are here and then here you can see a teleporter. So this is what you need to do to go to a game that you actually want. So in here you will see a lot of games such as Bloxfruit, Prison Life, uh, Fencing and many more. But if you want to go to another game, you just go and then go to the game that you want and just copy in the URL the game id you just copy it and put it in here and then press on join game so i'm gonna put the id here from blocks fruits it's also gonna be right here but i wanted to show you that you can actually get it from here as well so i'm gonna put it in here and then i'm gonna press on join game now if you can see we are inside roblox uh, blocks fruits and we have this open so the next thing that you need to do is gonna press on this icon right here and then open roblox right here the process or uh, just double click on it and then this will open right here then you just need to press or inject right here if you wait if you can see it got my leg and then it's gonna say inject script so this means it works so now if we open it if you can see we have this uh, GUI opened right here and if you press F9 and if I put like print and then let's say hello execute if you can see it actually works uh, but if you go to the script hub right here right here you can see some other stuff such as a CMDY, Blade Ball, Prison Life, Infinite Yield and Dex Explorer but as it also well. has a Bloxfruits ESP so let me open the Infinite Yield so you can see it actually works we just got it and then we can do like no clip and then enter now we have no clip we can go through stuff if you can see it's really simple and we also have a blocks fruits esp right here and if i press on execute it's gonna show all the fruits but if you can see at the moment there aren't any fruits in the map this actually gives an error so this may be bugged, but I have a different ESP inside my Discord server. You can use an actually work. So in my Discord server, we have a scripts tab right here where people post working scripts for this uh, for this version. Because not all scripts uh, work. It's like a really simple... Uh, a really simple executor, so not everything will work. If you can see someone posted a uh, aimbot. An aimbot and ESP again, a fly, a fly GUI if you can Auto see, auto parry, a name tag script if you can see, and some others. So if you can see right here we have a fruit ESP, this one should work, so I'm just gonna copy it and then I'm gonna paste it right here. And if you open the, and then if you execute, if you can see, you actually can see sand fruit and spring fruit right here. So actually pre op and if you close this you can also close it you can reopen it with pressing p so that way it isn't in your way whenever you're uh, using it so if you can see sand fruit we got it right here so we actually got a fruit with this a spring fruit and also sand but i guess the sand fruit is gone i'm not sure 
Oh no, it's right here, a sand fruit. Let me execute it again, maybe we will find something new. No, that was it, actually, but if you wait... Oh, there is another fruit right there, so let me go and get it. This is a smoke fruit, if you can see. Maybe there are more fruits out there, I'm not sure. So right here, I have a, a fly GY. This is from inside my Discord right here. It's it's right, this one right here. So fly E. So if I press on E. I don't think it actually works in blocks route since they have like a really good anti-cheat. Because also the infinite yield of fly doesn't work. So now let me show you how to do it so it actually works for blade ball as well. So you just need to open the folder again and then in the home folder if you scroll down you will see where is it Roblox BB. You can just put it on top of your desktop like this and then if you go to the auto run and we search for Roblox as well. We take this out as well and we put the Roblox BB inside the uh, auto run and then your normal Roblox can go in here as well. So now it works for um, Blade Ball, but if you want to revert it, you just put this uh, this Roblox uh, one again in the auto run, and then the Roblox BB again in here. So let me open it and then head into Blade Ball. So again, open the base plate, which is really easy to do. So we have Blade Ball right here. I'm just gonna press on it, and then I'm gonna press on Join Game. Now, if you can see, we are inside a blade ball. I haven't opened it in a couple of days, actually. So now, if you open this, we select Roblox, just like that. And then we press on uh, inject. But before you inject, make sure you have the dash ability equipped. Otherwise, it won't work. So make sure you have the dash ability. And then you can press on inject, just like that. Then you just need to wait. If you can see, inject script, so it actually works. So now you just have to wait until you get into the game and then if you can see it opens just like that and uh, if you open the script hub right here we can see blade ball right here uh, hit on execute and if you can see auto pair reload it is gonna be saying that right there so we can close this so let's test this uh, so right now we are just waiting for it to come to us we can while we wait we can also enable uh, infinite yield so we can actually fly so we can do fly and right now we are flying if you can see so the ball will take a long time until it comes to us but everyone uh, will be seeing that you're flying so be aware of that so look how op this is guys you can also enable no clip so you can go um go like inside the map or something which is really, really OP. Boom, if you can see, auto parried really easy. Boom, auto parried again, auto parried again. Easy. And if you don't like the auto parry from inside the Weed Hub, there is also gonna be other auto parries from other people. This is the best auto parry for Web. If you can see, this guy posted it here. Also, Blade Ball Auto Parry, but it doesn't work. Or really you can good. just use the one in the Weed Engine. So, this was the video, though, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.